<laughs> what are you two chuckling about? There's a church revival coming into town today. Can we go? As long as you get your chores done. We can do better than that. It's set up by the Indian burial mounds. We're going to bring home some buried treasure. Enough! <coughs> You're both old enough to be helping me with money by now. Helping the family. That's what we're doing. We find the right treasure and you'll never work again. No more magic. No more treasure. Real work with actual money. I can't be the only one working to pay off Pa's debt and keep food on the table. We didn't have anything to do with that stupid ginseng deal. You want to talk about the ginseng deal to my face? No more fighting. It's the weekend. Go to the revival and have fun. But come Monday, you're looking for jobs to help Alvin out. Here. Why don't you eat something and have a rest? Dang, Lewis. What are you doing stalking around like some kind of animal? I've been put on watch. Folks have been digging up our graves. Is that right? People like who? Some girl, Sally said she has a seer stone that showed her there was treasure. It's incredibly disrespectful to disrupt our resting spirits. All their spirits can be saved. All your people can go to heaven. We have our own heaven. Will you at least come to the revival with us? You pale faces are all the same. You teach each other what dead men say about God. I can go into the woods and learn more in two hours talking to the Great Spirit than you do your entire life of reading old books. We'll see you later, Lewis. He's talking about Sally Chase. I know it. As you may have heard, the Indians are disappearing rapidly from America. Disease, war, famine. At some they found a hero. It's time they denounced their false god and accepted a true savior. It is our duty to expand across this great continent to offer these savages grace and truth. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe in miracles and destiny. That's Sally Chase. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourselves peeping on young ladies like that? You're Joseph Smith. Well, I know that already. <laughs> Who are you? Sally. Sally Chase. What did you think of the sermon? I think he likes to hear himself talk. What did you think? I agree with him about believing in destiny, especially right now. <laughs> oh, my parents are strict. Meet me tonight, right here. I won't move until then. Our 
destiny. Our destiny! <laughs> Why, you sneaky minx! I thought you weren't coming. Sorry, my ma was up late. So this is what you've been doing to keep yourself busy? Playing preacher? I think you would be great at it. I want to be great at something, you know? My pa, he's never doing anything right with his life. But my brother Alvin, that's all he ever does. The right thing. Hard work and little pay. Real reliable. But they're both miserable. Yes, ma'am. You think there's got to be more to life? Something spectacular? Yes. How did you... I'm the same way. Look. What is that? It's called a seer stone. Some people, if they have the power, will look into the stone and see great visions that lead them to riches beyond their wildest dreams. Do you... do you see anything? Yeah, I, I think maybe... <laughs> you filthy liar! We have to prepare the stone first. There's nothing to see yet. I know. I, I was just messing around. Right. Let me show you. Now? Yes. Then you have it, Joseph. You're a seer. Come on! Where are you going? The Indian Mounds. No, not there. I see a, a well. It's crumbling. My brother Willard. He's building a well now. They're digging for it. <laughs> it's here. I, I know it. Joseph, did you find something? Joseph, you found the seer stone. We're going to be rich. Joseph, Joseph, get back here. Speak of the devil. <laughs> what? You slept the whole day away. You promised me you would find work. No. None of us are ever going to have to work again. What? Joseph Smith! I need to see Joseph Smith! Sally, what are you doing here? Can't we talk about this later? You have something that belongs to me. The stone chose me, and I found it fair and square. Is that right? Tell me. What do you see now? You don't see anything, do you? I, I don't understand. Yesterday, it was clear as day. Looks like you have yet to discover the true seer power. Come on, Sally, stop taunting me. I gotta get that power back. Okay. 
but it will cost you. You know, my family is broke. Honest to God. I'd pay you if I, if I had two pennies to rub together. Your visions have stopped because you don't know God. God? What do you mean? Only those who know God can have visions. Follow me if you want to meet him. I suppose you're going to introduce me? No thanks. I got plenty of people preaching at me around here. Go. Stand there in front of that rock. Okay, now what? Do I need to recite a spell or something? Hold the stone in both hands and close your eyes. Count backwards from five and open your eyes. There. There he is. Did you see him? Did you see God? Um, no. Well, all I could see was my shadow. Exactly. That's it. Good one. So now God is my shadow? No, silly. I was trying to show you yourself. That's the first thing a seer witch learns. That she is a goddess, a visionary, a creator. Joseph, I realize that there is no God in the sky looking down judging us all. There is only me. There is only us. We can only rely on ourselves. If we want something out of this life, we are to create it ourselves. We are the gods of our own lives. So if you are to be a true seer, you must first have a vision. And that vision is what you make of your life, Joseph Smith. I see something. What is it? Let me show you. <laughs>